Welcome back, everybody. This is Brian Kirk with Eat Tomorrow and Be Taking the Road Less Traveled with another cost of living episode. Today, we're going to the African nation of Angola. Facts about Angola before we get started. Uh, Angola has a population of 36,684,202. That was based on 2023 numbers. Land area of 1,246,700 kilometers squared. And it has a density of 29 people per kilometer squared. The capital of Angola is Luanda. And just to give you some information about this, the the uh, numbers we're going to give you here for uh, Angola, it is um, updated in 2024 of July. There's been 220 entries in the past 12 months by 12 different contributors. And this is all available on www.numbio.com. Link to today's numbers will be in the description of, or in the comments of the video. Uh, like I said, I don't, uh, these numbers are nowhere researched by me. I get them from the website. So any numbers that might be off are purely just because that's what they have on the website. And I'm just reading them off to you and telling you what the numbers are uh, for the, the city and state country. So we go through the normal categories. Remember, everything is in U.S. dollars and in metric. So uh, restaurants, a meal in an inexpensive restaurant, you're looking at spending about $5.87. A meal for two people in a mid-range restaurant, three courses, $57.34. Let's check something here. There is McDonald's in Angola, so um, a McDonald's meal will cost you, or equivalent from a different restaurant, will cost you $7.26. So there is McDonald's in Angola, just so you know, if you've never been there, you can go to find a McDonald's. A domestic beer, 0.5 liter draft, it's going to cost you $1.81, which is pretty, pretty good. National beer of... of um, Angola is called uh, Kuka. They also have Nugola and Luandan beers are the more popular. Apparently, Luka, Nova Luka, Kuka, no, Nova Kuka is the most popular one, though. So just keep that in mind if you are looking for the beer scene in Angola, especially in Luanda. The uh, ported beer for a 0.33 liter bottle, you're going to spend a dollar 62 in a restaurant. This is another country where it is more expensive to buy a domestic beer than it is to buy an imported beer. For a cappuccino, you're going to be spending three dollars and 81 cents for a regular cup. Uh, co Coke or Pepsi, you're going to spend a dollar 64 on a 0.33 liter bottle, and water for a 0.33 liter bottle in a restaurant is going to cost you a dollar four. Once again, we're in Africa here, so um, I'm not sure of the uh, water uh, sanitation services in the city. Sometimes there's some things in the water that might not react well to your stomach, so it's best to stay away from water and ice. Uh, stick to a bottled water and stay away from the ice uh, for sure. Uh, then we're going to go to the markets where we have uh, just basic sundries um, that you would be looking for if you're there, some as a tourist, some as a, a, someone that would live there. Uh, milk in a market for a liter, a regular milk is gonna cost you $1.80. Loaf of fresh white bread, 500 grams, $1.34. Rice, white, one kilogram, $1.95. Eggs, regular, 12, do so 12 or a dozen, it's gonna cost you $2.44. Local cheese, one kilogram, is going to cost you $8.96. Uh, chicken fillets, one kilogram, $6.36. Pretty good price for a kilogram of chicken. Uh, beef round, one kilogram for equivalent back leg red meat, going to cost you $10.98. That's actually a pretty good price as well. Now we're getting to the fruit and vegetables category. We have apples for one kilogram, $2.71. Bananas for one kilogram, $1.02. Oranges, one kilogram, three dollars and five cents. Tomato, a kilogram for a dollar or two dollars and thirty six cents. Uh, potato, a dollar for one kilogram, you're going to be spending a dollar ninety one. Onion, 
$1.77 for a kilogram. One head of lettuce, it's going to cost you a buck fifty-one. And then we're getting into uh, fluids, so water, 1.5 liter water bottle, something you'll be buying if you're staying in a hotel or uh, Airbnb. It's going to cost you 50 cents for a dollar, 1.5 liters of water. So that's pretty good. It's going to cost you 50 cents per half liter of water. A bottle of wine mid-range, you're going to spend about eight, $8.14. For domestic beer, 0.5 liter bottle, this is unbelievable, 54 cents. That's a pretty good price if you like to drink and you're going to be stocking up for the, at the grocery store. Dollar, 54 cents for half a liter. Uh, imported beer, 0.33 liter bottle, it's going to cost you $1.15. Cigarettes, 20 pack of Marlboro, for example, $2.38. And we get to transportation. Um, Transportation one-way ticket, local transport, it's going to cost you 59 cents. A monthly pass um, for regular price, $37.08. A taxi start, normal tariff, $1.20. Taxi one kilometer, normal tariff, every for every one kilometer, I should say, is $1.44. Taxi one hour waiting time for a normal tariff is going to be $6.99. Gasoline is a... Uh, Paltry 37 cents a liter, which is pretty good. That's one of the lowest I've seen so far. Volkswagen Golf, uh, 1.4 kilowatt trend line or equivalent new car, $19,880.09. Toyota Corolla sedan, 1.6 liter, 97 kilowatt comfort or equivalent new car, $28,310.99. Utilities, monthly, basic electricity, heating, cooling, water, garbage for 85 meter squared apartment, $96.11. Mobile phone plan with calls, 10 gigabytes of plus data, $21.80. And this is where it gets a little more expensive is internet, 60 megabytes per second or more, unlimited data. Call cable and ADSL is going to cost you $142.93. Then we get into sports and leisure, uh, fitness club, monthly fee for one adult. It's going to cost you $38.44. Uh, tennis court rental for one hour on the weekend is going to set you back a whole $11.54. So not too bad if you want to play tennis on the weekend with a mate. Uh, cinema international release, one seat, $4.49. So go and see all those movies you can. Uh, no cost of living is a lot uh, lower or in um, Angola. Childcare, uh, preschool for kindergarten for a full day private, monthly for one child, $621.55. International primary school yearly for one child, $12,300.32. And then let's see, we're gonna get into the We're going to get into the clothing. Just checking. Um, see. Sorry. This doesn't make a freaking television. I can't tell. Uh, oh, here we go. It does not look like there is. Um, oh, one second. I forgot. It does not look like there. There's not. There appears there is no H H and M in uh, Angola or Zara. Uh, so let's go back to where we start here. Clothing and store and shoes. One pair of jeans, five Levi's 501 or similar, you're going to set you back $115.83. One summer dress in a chain store of equivalent because they don't have the Zara or H&M, you're going to spend $99.99. And one pair of Nike running shoes, uh, mid-range, $171.36. 
and one pair of men's leather business shoes is going to set you back $263.13. So if you want anything nice, you're going to be paying a fortune for the Western items in Angola. Um, now we get back into uh, rent per month. Apartment one bedroom in the city center, it's going to cost you $540.42. Apartment one bedroom outside the city center is going to cost you two eighty five sixty six. Uh, apartment three bedrooms in the city center is going to cost you twenty eight hundred and thirty dollars and thirty seven cents. And for just about double that, or half that, I should say, apartment for three bedrooms outside the city center is one fourteen o two. To buy an apartment. The price is per square meter to buy an apartment in the city center is $14,433.62. The price per square meter to buy an apartment outside the city center is going to cost you $3,173.19 per square meter. The average monthly net salary after tax, $1,671.70. Mortgage interest rate in percentage for a 20-year fixed rate. It's 24%. So you're going to be paying a fortune on your mortgages for it. It's going to be going towards interest. Not very um, economical at all. Okay, and then we're going to just go to a breakdown of distribution of expenses using the statistical model that they have here. Uh, the most expensive thing is going to be um, markets. Well, actually, rent per month. Is 34.6% of your income. Uh, restaurants 11.7. Transportation 8.1. Clothing and shoes 6.2. Sports and leisure 4.1. Markets 26.4. And utilities monthly 8.9. So those are all pretty straightforward. So yeah, it's um, not the cheapest country to live in if you uh, don't have if you're not you don't have a lot of money um, it's going to be expensive for a lot of the, the higher need goods uh, closest city uh, is Kwa Kokuo and um, it is located closer to uh, Angola than any other city and that's about it for this this week uh, or to this for today so luanda angola located in africa and uh, that's the cost of living so if you like this if you have a chance to please like comment subscribe on my channel you can check us out at www.eatmyonbeat.com where all the videos are available as well we have the podcast four podcasts tomorrow it'll be the history of new zealand coming out at 12 pacific time uh wednesday we have the history of israel coming out at noon pacific time and then Friday, we have the history of Portugal, episode 115, coming out at noon Pacific time as well. We'll be having a cost of living episode for Antigua and Barbuda tomorrow, followed by Argentina, Armenia, Australia, and Austria, and so on and so forth. But today is country number five, and it was Angola. So until next time, keep eating to your own beat, take the road less traveled, and have a great day.